What's up YouTube, this is Tube Digger. In this video, I'm gonna be taking another look at the vintage modes in the Akai MPC Live, specifically the SP1200 and SP1200 ring, and how it affects melodic content and tuned samples. So recently I got a really good question from someone called Gauls Productions. They said it would be interesting to hear how the different vintage modes sound on melodic samples. And they also wondered how the SP1200 mode sounds in combination with tuning and does it produce similar artifacts when you tune a sample on a real SP1200. So let's get straight into it. On sequence five, I've added this program called You Got and that's from a track I made that's also called You Got. I'll put a link in the description for that if you wanna check that out. So let's have a listen to that. There's no uh, tuning being applied and the vintage mode is set to none. <laughs> So let's first listen to the SP1200 mode. So it's just, again, accentuating that high frequency noise to me. And here's the SP1200 ring. So that very distinctive ringing sound. Let's try it at different pitches. So one thing I noticed about the SP1200 ring mode, it adds this layer of noise. Um, and aside from the kind of ringing sounds and artifacts that you get, the pitching of that noise doesn't really change. It seems to work well with things that you pitch down because obviously it's emphasizing high frequencies that you may otherwise have um, lost if you had just pitched it down with without this effect so let's try and let's let's just take a listen a close listen to that noise it doesn't really change you, you go, you go. even at minus 36 semitones that that fuzzy noise just doesn't change it's just the sample itself so let's have a listen to the let's go to the channel mixer and i've added a resampler let's take it off sp1200 ring and compare the resampler effect so the noise isn't as muddy but obviously you've got this decimation parameter to choose from and as you can see it's, it's accentuating so many different tones in there If I wanted that sound, I think I'd definitely go to the resampler effect in the MPC Live and just add it subtly. You've got control over the dry wet balance, obviously. The rate doesn't really do anything at all. Even if you put the dry wet up full. But the decimation really gives you a lot of different effects to experiment with. So let's turn that off. Let's go back, let's put our vintage mode back to SP1200. And let's check out the first drum break that I've got here and we'll change the pitch of that and see how the SP1200 mode affects this when this is pitched down. So let's switch between that and off. So as before in the other video, it just accentuates the high frequencies for me. Let's pitch it down. Again, SP1200 mode. It works okay with this at a lower pitch. It definitely, the high frequency noise 
you know, it just lifts it a bit. Let's turn it off. Yeah, it's just more muffled. So yeah, it definitely has a positive effect. But what about the SP1200 ring? So it might be the fact that this drum break is quite gated. The, the actual chops aren't that long. It's only really with these real long, if we just pitch it right there, I'm not gonna play the sequence, but. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're usable special effects for things, but I wouldn't stick that over an entire drum break at all. Um, let's try the next break, which was a bit more busy in sequence two. So this is the break dry. Let's put that in SP1200 mode. So again, a very subtle bit amount of brightness. And let's re-pitch that. So not much effect with the SP1200. What about the SP1200 ring? So yeah, a ton of noise on there. Just make sure our resample is off. So definitely more of an effect when pitching down. Let's pitch it back up. And it's simply because the samples are longer that you're obviously getting that effect uh, coming through a lot more. I think it probably worked well on this break, which is even busier than the other two. Or at least more punchy. So yeah, I thought this, I thought the ring, uh, SP1200 ring worked well on this as is. Let's see what it sounds like pitched down. Yeah, really nice down there. Nice and crunchy. Let's turn it off. So this break sounds nice pitched down anyway. It's nice clean, but it's also nice dirtied up by that SP1200 ring. This is SP1200. The SP1200 is quite nice on this break, but it's again, it's so subtle. Let's turn off the vintage mode and let's put the ring mod on. So again, another interesting thing, the decimation doesn't really take that much effect on this. And I think, again, it's because there's less frequencies in this. So yeah, the rate actually affects this drum break. That's probably where I'd go if I wanted this kind of effect. Before I end the video, I'm gonna do two more things. I'm gonna load in a speech sample from my SD card. Speech. Unbelievable. That's song number 16 on the survey this week. And don't forget, we preview the Put this speech sample in. Unbelievable. That's song number 16 on the survey this week. And don't forget, we preview the top 20 every Friday night. A great way to start a super weekend here. Unbelievable. That's song number 16 on the survey this okay, week. I'm going to turn that down so it doesn't the irritate the hell out of us. Night. Great way to start a super weekend here. Unbelievable. And let's listen to the vintage modes. Survey this week. Don't forget, we preview the top 20 every Friday night. A great way to start a super weekend here. Unbelievable. So, so, that song. No same again. Uh, SP1200. Not doing much. Just accentuating the noise. Unbelievable. This is the ring. Unbelievable. That's song number 16 on the survey this week. Don't forget, we preview the top 20 every Friday night. A great way to start. So yeah, it works well on speech. The ring mode. Let's re-pitch it. Unbelievable. That's song number 16 on the surveys. Don't forget, we preview the top 20 every... Unbelievable. That's song number 16 on the surveys. We preview the top 20 every... So, 
pretty much doing what you'd expect it to do. And let's put the resampler back on. Unbelievable, that's song number 16 on the survey this week. And don't forget, we preview the top 20 every Friday night. A great way to start a super weekend. So the rate, again, isn't really doing much with a speech sample. It's the decimation that's changing this. Place. Unbelievable, that's song number 16 on the survey this week. And don't forget, we preview the top 20 every Friday night. A great way to start. Definitely the resampler has uh, more benefits to that, I think, just because you've got this parameter control. It doesn't sound as crunchy as the SP1200 ring. So to finish off with, I've got a full track loaded into an audio track. We're first gonna listen to that dry and then just keep an eye on the vintage modes as I switch between them. Then I'm gonna turn those both off and see what the resampler sounds like. So I hope you've enjoyed this video guys. Please like, subscribe, share, any questions or comments, put them down below and I'll catch you on the other side. This is Tube Digger and I'm out.